hi guys welcome back so this is another android tips and today we are going to see actually how you can transfer uh, some of the applications from one phone to another phone so normally uh, there are a lot of ways there if you you can use any of the apk extractor or you can send it via some application like helium app or titanium backup but uh, it's sometimes pretty difficult for non-rooted devices to you know to transfer complete game data itself or app data itself for example i want to show you guys here uh, before to just uh, doing that so there is an uh, app called dead trigger 2 here and since there are most applications like heavy games for example xfall string maxfall 8 or whatever game you try that out so they they have very small application size but they need a lot of you know data at least 800 900 or maybe one gigabytes or more so that you cannot transfer usually via this uh, uh, apps like helium backup so they need root access to work properly even i was trying that a lot of time but it was not not working so i just figured out this way how you can do that so as you can see this is the game here i just transferred it here and we will uh, try to see some other demo here i will transfer xfall stream from here to this phone from nexus 6p to oneplus 3 so you can see everything is working you can see the game is pretty much working and dead trigger 2 is uh, almost near to size of 500 mb so for example if you go to the play store it will ask for you to download the files and all stuff but we can see from here so this is done right so now uh, what are the things you're gonna need so if you have a computer it's fine if you don't have any computer it's fine because ultimately you, you have to transfer some of the files from here to this file this phone so maybe you can use any of the third party application like bluetooth nfc or any of the file sharing applications send it share it whatever you prefer but if you have computer you can directly transfer to that computer from this phone to computer then from computer to this phone so the application i'm going to send here is called send anywhere I will use that file you can see i just transferred that trigger too so i will first open both the application in both the phones now after that what is needed you need a good file explorer you can use yes file explorer or i am using solid explorer file manager so this is the what i will do so i will use open both fields but anyway so uh, first you need to create an apk of the things that you want to send so we already transferred that trigger to uh, i will show you guys demo of the xfall stream from i can from here i can transfer to that so i have used this apk extractor you can use any of the one so i will just type here xfall the stream so the apk is created right so i will go to this solid explorer file manager where i have created this apk you can see and the apk size is just 35 mb uh, which, which will just stall the game and you you don't need internet connection no root at all so just because i am transferring using send anywhere which needs local wi-fi otherwise you can use any the application bluetooth nfc right so uh, i will just uh, right click here and i will click on this share button so this is share using send anywhere that's why it need to open both places and already i have made demo of this one you can pretty much it's very good app actually so i just need to copy this pin here so the file is transferred and now what is needed extra apart from that so you need to use again your file manager now watch it carefully here that is the important point here so once you have your file you need to go to the specific directory say i'm using solid explorer you can use any of the file manager so you need to go to the internal storage and there is a folder called android in each devices so you have to go inside this android and there is a folder called obb so what is obb actually in short it just uh, stores the application data which are very large right so these are internal files which keeps on changing you can read more on wikipedia pages so we are not going to get inside much detail so this is the game here xfall stream you can see uh, if you're not able to read completely so this is the app icon you can see and uh, i see you can see it pretty clearly so this is from gameloft android and xfall nmp so something inside this detail so i don't need to matter you can see this is one gigabytes of somewhere here so if you don't transfer it that way you need to again spend one gigabytes of game data you need to download it so we are going to send this here so first we have uh, already received the apk so you need to first stall the apk so this is what we just called so click install on the apk first package explorer so we don't open after sorry because it will ask to download the files and we don't want to do uh, we don't want to use actually our internet that is our uh, idea behind this application just click done so as you can see uh, this is our game data here once you go inside this uh, because the game is already installed here but in this phone uh, this game is already here inside this app but we haven't opened that so there is no directory inside this obb similar to what you get in com.gameloft so once you open that game 
uh, this will create here so either you can open it once or you can manually create this folder so it can be possible sometimes you know you can find the folder easily sometimes you cannot so what you can do actually uh, you can also just uh, rename this folder file and copy the name so take the complete name whatever it is written here you need to create the same name there so you can use any of the method like google keep or something else to write that name there so that you can easily create that folder so this is what we got so now we'll come here or you can send the complete folder name that's not a big deal here so we can also try to send a complete folder so just click on this folder and click on the share button send anywhere so we are trying to send a complete folder and i guess it should come here i haven't tried that using send anywhere so it should come so this is the code we are going to see is uh, just click on this receive button and type the key 609163 so click it download so wait for it to first download then we will see later so we are about to complete a transfer just a few mbs left we'll see after that so everything is transferred now, now we don't need this one nexus 6p now we'll come here so again use your uh, file manager and just go inside directory so usually everything comes inside send anywhere so this is what we got this is the obb file and usually guys sometimes it happens uh, you do not get this folder so that's why just for safety purpose i have taken this uh, file name there just copy the name and create a new folder because uh, when i tried with the dead trigger 2 i got the same folder name so you can open the uh, one time games not a problem and just to verify whether everything is correct or not so this is what the game name you can see everything is correct now we are set to good go and just cut this file whatever we received and just go inside the directory and paste here so we got our file now it's time to launch the game let's see and it should work so this is the game we are launching first time so it should not download the files because if you just go and try to install from internet it will ask to download file you can see and just checking to create the google play store game profile so guys you can see everything is set back here and everything i have just whatever stages i have just it uh, is came here you can see all the stages that i played there everything is came here so we don't need even to download the file from the internet or play store so so i hope you guys understand so i'm just summarizing again what you need to do first uh, you need a file uh, apk extractor file uh, which, using that you can create the apks here once you have the apk just transfer that to other phone where you want to install the game or you can install from the play store itself just don't download the game data files and use this method any of the good uh, solid explorer or file explorer just go inside this android inside this android obp folder here should be some folder which has the game data file just transfer that file using send anywhere or any other application maybe computer whatever you prefer you should be knowing that thing so i use send anywhere i will put that link in the video description make sure you use that then copy inside the same directory as we have shown here so after that you are good to go you can easily play and transfer so you can transfer game you can transfer apks all the apps whichever you want so it's pretty much working you see in front of you so that's it guys pretty much if you like this video don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos. This is Sarah and catch you guys in the next video. Have a great day.